Good morning, guys. This is the current affairs session for 26th October 2019. Well, today's first current affair is October 24. This is celebrated as UN Day by its member nation. And the day's day was uh, first celebrated in 1948 and marks the entry into force of the UN Charter in 1945. So, October 24 is the UN Day, United Nations Day. Second, the PSLV, that is Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle of the Indian Space Research Organization, that is ISRO, will launch 14 small spacecraft of four international customers, namely Analytical Space, Spire, IQPS, Clio Space, and these are the four uh, international customers. So, 14 small spacecraft will be launched by ISRO. Okay. And the ISRO will have one of its art observation satellite as the larger primary payload on each of these three PSLV flights. Do remember that PSLV stands for Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. Okay. Next. Prakash Zavedkar, who is the Indian minister, he has launched the first national protocol to enumerate the snow leopard population in India. Okay, the launch was made on the occasion of 2019 International Snow Leopard Day, that is ISLD, at the fourth steering committee meeting of the Global Snow Leopard and Ecosystem Protection Program, GSLEP, in Delhi. So, this time, this Leopard uh, Day is organized in Delhi. Okay, and there, the first national protocol to enumerate the snow leopard population in India was launched by Prakash Zavedkar. Okay, the next, Government of India has accorded Maharatna status to public sector undertakings, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited, that is HPCL and Power Grid Corporations. Two separate orders to this effect were issued by the Department of Public Enterprises under Union Ministry of Heavy Industry and Public Enterprises. Now, HPCL, that is Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited, and Power Grid Corporation becomes Maharatna Company. Well, guys, if you like this session, do subscribe to this channel if you have not already done it, and also share with your friends. And one important thing that one question is asked at the end of the video. So watch this video very carefully and do comment the answer of that question to be asked. Okay. So now, this is the static ZK session. As you have already got that, I have tried to include at least 10 ZKs in every current affairs session. And these are very important for the upcoming competitive examinations. Well, let's start. The first one. Mixed heart. What is mixed heart? This one is from biology. Okay. A mixed heart is the heart in which the oxygenated and the deoxygenated blood is mixed. And who has this mixed heart? Reptiles and amphibians have a mixed heart. Do remember that reptiles and amphibians have a mixed heart. Next. Sashinanda so Sinha. He was the interim president of the first constituent assembly. Next. The bacterium. Iscariasia coli is found where? It is found in human intestine. Okay. Then, all species of lemur are endemic to which place? Lemur are endemic to Madagascar. Okay. And why this word endemic or endemism? This word endemism is the ecological state of being unique to a Defined geographic location such as an island, nation, or other defined zone or habitat type. So, lemur is endemic, endemic to the Madagascar. Okay. Then, there's a very important term nowadays you may frequently hear about 
is sustainable development so this is about sustainable development sustainable development is the term of utmost significance in the dynamics of resource management and it was coined in the Brundtland Commission report. What is that? Brundtland Commission report. This time sustainable development was first coined. Okay. Now the Agenda 21 of Rio Summit 1992. This is also related to sustainable development. Agenda 21 Rio Summit. Okay. Next, the Department of Border Management is a department under whose ministry? Okay, this Department of Border Management is a department under Ministry of Home Affairs. Then, which one is the largest Lok Sabha constituency area-wise? Area-wise, which one is the largest Lok Sabha constituency? So that is Ladakh. Do you remember that Ladakh is the Lok Sabha constituency, constituency by area-wise? And if we talk about top five area-wise constituencies, then they are first, you already got that, Ladakh, that is 173,266 kilometers square. After that, Burma, that is 71,601 square kilometer. Then Kutch, that is 41,644 square kilometer. Then Ornasal West, that is 40,572 kilometer square. And the last one is Aru. Now, which state has the maximum percentage of mangrove cover in the country? Then, West Bengal has the maximum percentage of mangrove cover. Do remember this. By the West Bengal, okay, uh, you should uh, remember a term that is Sundarban. Okay, and in Sundarban, we have mangrove covered throughout the whole forest clear then in the mahayana buddhism bodhisattva avalokiteshvara was also known by padmapani okay this was his very typical term still now these are the current uh, gk sessions for this 26th october 2019 now i am resuming to the current affair and this is the current affair number 5 Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has approved the issuance of two Open General Export Licenses, OZELS, Open General Ex Export Licenses, for export of certain parts or components and intra-company transfer of technology to select countries. Next, Mukhya Mantri Kanya Sumangala Yojana. Sumangala Yojana. Where it was launched? It was launched in Uttar Pradesh on 25th October by the Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath. Then, this one is very important. The Data Security Council of India, that is DSCI, along with National Cyber Security Coordinator's Office, has launched Tech Sagar. Tech Chagar, a national repository to facilitate new opportunities for businesses and academia to collaborate, connect, and innovate in future. So do remember that Data Security Council of India with National Cyber Security Coordinators has launched Tech Chagar. Then, Shatlar P. V. Sindhu and actor Deepika Padukan have been named the ambassadors for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's new initiative called Bharat Ki Lakshmi movement. Okay, so P.V. Sindhu and Deepika Padukan have been named for this Bharat Ki Lakshmi movement ambassadors. And what was what is the aim of this initiative? The aim of this initiative is to bring commendable work done by women across the nation to light ahead of the Deepavali festival. Okay, next, Pankas Kumar a 1987 batch IS officer has been appointed as the new CEO of the Unique Identification Authority of India, that is Uday. Okay, so Pankas Kumar is now current CEO of Uday. 
And today's last current affair is that the central government has relaxed norms for setting up petrol pumps, allowing non-oil companies to get into this business. As per the relaxed norms, a net worth of rupees 250 crore will be allowed to sell petrol and diesel. And this number is very important. That is, the limit is rupees 250 crore. Well, guys, these are the selected and important current affairs for today's session. Now, I'm coming to the today's question from the last class. So, today's question is, World Polio Day is celebrated yearly on option A, 23 October, option B, 24 October, option C, 25 October, option D, none of this. So, you need to comment your answer on which day the World Polio Day is celebrated. Okay, then. So, we'll meet in the next lecture tomorrow. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.